guys, it's the Vortex 3. I just fed my bloodworms a cube of bloodworms. One in my 20 gallon tropical fish. I'm gonna focus on the bloodworms. I haven't fed them today, so all the guppies, two leopardanios, a few platies, and one molly are going crazy over it. Okay. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit. Oh, it fell because of the current. I also have seven crawfish in here, which I need to get rid of because you're only supposed to have five per uh, gallon. Sorry, you're only supposed to have one for, um, you know, per five gallons. Anyway, that's the blood worms. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Twenty gallon. Huge platy right there. Most of these fishes came from my sister's house. And, you know, she has not been taking care of them too much, so I figured I'd take most of her platies and some, if not at least like a good amount, of the guppies she had. Okay, bloodworms are over here. I haven't fed them bloodworms in a few weeks, so. Yeah, that's them. If they spot the bloodworms, the crawfish, they'll go crazy for them. Right now, everybody else, they usually already go crazy for them, but... Um... They usually go crazy for them if it, like, the cube floats on top. But if, like, say it floats to the bottom, the guppies don't really pay attention to it. There's a, pl a platy eating bloodworms. Just sucking them up like nothing. I've had these plays for about just over a month. This one and three others. Uh, I've had those leopardanios for almost a year now. I know I've had them about definitely since January. Okay, that platy is the mama to two platies in here. Okay, no, it's not that one. That molly my sister had for like definitely over six months. That's one of the platy babies from the big mama over here on the left hand side. That's her. Okay, look, there's another guppy eating the uh oh crawfish got to it. Mm, hold on. I'll show you guys the uh aerial view. Found this red block on the side of the road, and I thought it looked really nice, so I told my lover to run and get it. So now I have a little block, and I really liked it because of its, um, you know, cubicle, like little squares it has, it has four of them, and I figured it'd be great for the crawfish to hide in, although they don't hide as much as I thought they would. Okay, now let's focus on the action over here. That's one crawfish. There's seven crawfish in here. I used to originally only had, I originally only had two or three, and oh, I took some of my sisters, so you know how that. Yeah. Anyway, let me focus for you guys. There she is. Trust me, if those other crawfish knew there was bloodworms in here. It'd be going crazy for him too. So yeah, there's about five species in here. The crawfish, the guppies, the um, liar tail guppies, the leopard, two leopardanios, a few platies, um, one molly, um, one, two, three, four. Wait, I think there might be four than my five species. Um, let's see, one guppy, two platy, three leopards, four molly, yeah, and the fifth one is the crawfish, right? I know there's a bunch of guppies in here, but I promise you guys, um, there's not more than, like, 30 guppies in here, and I do, I do, like, not weekly changes, but I definitely get them, like, get, like, 25% or more of the water out every 10 days or maybe max like 12 or 14 days. The biggest crawfish I have is the 
when that's coming up behind this guy. I got the skeleton dude, the ornament you see in there from uh, I don't know, like we had a tank when I was younger and we kept this thing so I put it in there, chucked it in there like almost a year ago when I set up this 20 gallon. Okay, so that one's eating on the left hand side. This is Big Daddy right here. The biggest crawfish I have in here. I think he just molted the other day, like three day, a few days ago. Um, his exoskeleton is right there. And I think he might be eating, snacking on it. Oh yeah, those two got platies right there, those two red ones. They're both um, babies from the big mama. Where is she? Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. How big, how big do you guys figure she is? Like, is she abnormally bigger than, you know, an adult guppy or just a regular size guppy? I'll back up for you guys. Yeah, that's its baby back there. I just moved her into this tank like a few, maybe a week ago, not too long ago along with that molly and more guppies that I took from my sister's house. I'm really upset that these crawfish aren't like chasing after the um... You can see a few, a few uh, bloodworms on top of this. I'm gonna try to see if these crawfish are eating, but I don't think they are. That's my lightest crawfish right there, like the lightest um, color one I have. Right here. I'm like a, almost like a blue color. And then darkest one. Let me see one. Might be over here, down here somewhere. No. Anyway, that's how they use the little squares in there. I'm just snapping them. Let me see where's the crawfish going. I'm not sure where to go. Oh, look, right here. Um, this one has a bunch of them in its mouth. They're mar marble crayfish, in case you're wondering the species. There's none more back there. And if there is, all the guppies and pies are eating them up right now. I'm gonna feed him more um, flakes because not everybody got a piece of the bloodworms. I do want them to eat, you know, how they should be eating. I'm trying to see if the bloodworms went everywhere like I thought they did. And the crawfish might be eating them, but I don't see anybody else eating them besides this one that's hogging them up. Look at that, it has like six or more bloodworms that one on focus. There we are. <sighs> Backstory on that Molly. I was gonna do individual videos, but I guess not. Or maybe I still will. Backstory on that Molly. It was my sister's um fiance's brother's Molly who had babies and she had it since it was a baby. And now it's an adult who I plan to read later on in my 55 gallon, hopefully. And all these guppies, she got them as feeder guppies from the uh, local fish store in, you know, near Houston, Texas. For like one dollar each, I think. And she only got like 15 of them and now she has like 30 of them in her... 55. She downsized to a 40 gallon though. 40 gallon tank. Anyway, that's all the fishies. I think it's really cool when you have a bunch of fishes because I'd rather see more fishes swimming around than like decor. Like decorations in the tank. Usually I see too many plants in people's tanks or too much decoration going on and I just don't. Don't like that. I like more free space uh, for them to swim in. Anyway, 
the Vortex 3, if I didn't say that already. September 6th on a Friday. And that's my tank. Okay. I think that's it. Have a good one, you guys.